And then they got my legs up from under me and got me on the ground trying to be in the bed of me. An Oklahoma teen describes being attacked in their high school bathroom just hours before they died. Damn. I said, ignore it, Daddy. Mm -hmm. get, get above it. You know, just ignore it. Sure. Hold on. I said, ignore Attacked in their high school bathroom. That's him in the bed? Squad, that's him in the bed? Bathroom. Just hours before they died. I said, Look at the nose. Get it, get it. That is him with glasses. What the fuck? That same case just happened out here in Vegas. This same case just happened out here in Vegas. <clears throat> um, yeah, these uh at a high school, blacks and Mexicans jumped this little white boy and killed him. Hey squad, if y'all seen that video, and y'all seen that video, bro, I would, my nigga, my nigga, that video is so crazy. And it was the same case, my little nigga had got up and left, went home, told his parents what happened, went to the hospital afterwards and died at the hospital. My nigga, the judge, had gave four of them little niggas life. Above it, you know, just ignore it. Sure. She did until she couldn't in the bathroom. This, after the non-binary teen says they were repeatedly harassed by other students. <laughs> non-binary. This was the same case out here in Vegas. These kids, it's so... In 2024, it is so, it's still new for kids to be really coming out as gay, straight, by whatever, LGB in high school. You know what I'm saying? And other kids can't deal with it. They don't understand it. They don't know how to look at it. They don't know how to address it. And so when they start talking about you, one person hits you, everybody want to be cool. Everybody that jumped this person don't even hate her. Probably didn't even know where they was cloud chaser, just like out here. Uh, the kid out here was a part of that community, if I'm not mistaken. And they did that to him. It is dangerous, bro. And I understand, like, <clears throat> put it like this. Africa banned that shit for you being... LGBTQ, you know what I'm saying? They banned it. You get murdered. The government sentences you to death if they find out that's you. With that being said, it's obvious if you are a part of that community, you're not going out there, right? Right, cool. <clears throat> In today's time, I don't care how nobody feel about it, it's the same with high school. With that being said, if your kid is a part of that community, it's okay for you to stand behind them on it. But don't go ahead and give them, push them, be who you are at school, forget them, forget them. If you wanna go to school wearing this, whoop, whoop, whoop. Sometimes you gotta keep it low key because them kids don't understand that schools like the parent understand, like the rest of the world, like adults understand, bro. They don't. Like, yes, be behind your kid if they are a part of that, but going to school and telling them to say fuck everybody this is me i can do what i want i can look at who i know because i promise you bro it could be somebody that's a part of that community it could be a gay 11th grader male if he look at another and the whole school know he gay now you got this heterosexual this straight 11th grader let him look at him, but look past him, look in his direction. And everybody clowning like, oh, he want to fuck you. He just looked at you twice. He going to go over there and beat his ass. All because the kids is talking. Everybody around the school is, you know what I'm saying? That's how life is at high school. I don't know want, why nobody, especially adults, is not understanding how this shit work, bro. They parading their kids on this shit like it's cool at home. Tell them you can be you at home, but school is not home. 
Everybody know you, your safe is in your house. You can do whatever in your house. Walk around naked, smoke, cuss, do, watch, whatever. But at school, it's different. You can't change how it is. Not today. Probably in about 30 years, 40 years. Kids will catch up on it, and then it'll become the norm. You know what I'm saying? But today, it's not like that. And understand that. Your kid will get hurt at school. They have no protection. And if they are that person at school, they probably the only one or two. Like, really, the only one or two people at school that's like that, bro. It's, it don't. You don't want that phone call, man. You don't want that phone call, bro. Students. And they said that there was three girls that were on top of her just beating the crap out of her. The devastating body camera video was just released by the Owasso Police Department a small city about two hours northeast of Oklahoma City. That's where on February 7th, 16-year-old Nex Benedict got into a physical fight at school. Nex was non-binary and used they, them pronouns. Their family now says Nex was a victim of repeated bullying in their school because of their gender identity. Hi. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, stranger. Hey. Oh, you close this door. Hold on. Hello. Keep slamming. Hold on. Oh, Stonson, we spoke on the phone the other day. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. The body camera video begins when an Owasso officer meets Nex and their mother inside a hospital room just hours after the attack. So, what happened today? I got jumped. Tell me about it. What happened? Uh, they've been antagonizing. Right away, Nex tells the officer other students have been antagonizing them and their friends. Nex's mother, Sue Benedict, explains the bullying has been ongoing. She told me, she said, Mom, she said, these three girls there are just, they, they won't leave me alone. They're making comments, they're, yep, they're, they're calling us names, they're throwing stuff at us. And this is mm -hmm. an ISP. I'm like, well, who's over this place? I said, ignore it, Dabney. Mm -hmm. get, get above it, you know, just ignore it. Sure. She did until she couldn't in the bathroom. The physical altercation happened at the Owasso West High School campus in the bathroom. There weren't cameras in the happened at the Owasso West High School campus. Them three masking girls. Them three little masking bitches did that, bro. <clears throat> they, they, so with bullying, it ain't. I hated bullies. I seen niggas get bullied before. I never got bullied in my life, like, ever. But I never was one, and I seen it a few times. And them motherfuckers be busters, and they run in packs. You know what I'm saying? The thing about bullies at school, nothing will happen to the motherfuckers until something happened to your kid. You know what I'm saying? They can say they talking about me every day I come to school. They going to rub it off. They going to throw that shit off. They talking about me until one of them come to the school and just start beating you up. Or until you come to the school and just start spraying that motherfucker because nobody ain't listening. You tired of getting bullied. You know what I'm saying? This ongoing shit. Mm-mm. It's like, let me tell you, let me tell you, and I'm being so real, I don't care how old I am, I don't care how old I get. If that was to happen to me, say my son is in the ninth grade, and a 12th grader bullying him, bro, he come home and tell me I'm not telling the school. Bring somebody up there for the 12th grader, act like he ran him to him on some random shit and beat his ass right in front of the school. That's what I'm gonna do. Nigga, you're not finna keep bullying my son, especially if my son already fought you or he don't want to fight you. He's scared of his life. He coming home every day saying, Dad, this dude keep, this dude, all right. Got that nigga today for sure. 
I don't care how old I get, nigga. I don't play them games, bro. Get that nigga ass beat real bad one day. And that nigga tell you, hey, Lil, leave DJ alone. Next day at school, he ain't messing with DJ no more, bro. Bullies are bullies till they get their ass whooped. I think everybody in life needs to get beat up one time. So you know how I feel. I'm for real, bro. You 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 only tough tough niggas just ain't got beat up enough. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that act hard and all that. Them niggas ain't got beat up enough. Promise y'all. I think everybody in life needs to get beat up a few times. And I'm being real. Then it's only one day. You know how many days you live? What the fuck is wrong to get socked up one day of your life? Like, ish. Yo, has to calm down and roll, Rage. You ain't gonna be so quick to fight at the movies. You gonna understand other people when they be like, man, I ain't trying to fight. You gonna be like, this nigga said he don't want to fight, bro. Leave him the fuck alone. Because, you know, boy ain't trying to get beat up, and you know how I feel to get beat up. So you're going to defend a nigga that's getting bullied. I'm, I'm telling you. A lot of niggas need to get beat up sometime. That's why, right, man. Yeah. Right, in the bathroom. There weren't cameras inside to capture the fight, but surveillance video from outside of the bathroom shows what led up to it. Here, you can see six students enter the room on the right-hand side. Later, you see necks at the water fountain. This is important as they admit they threw water at some of the other students after they were making fun of necks. About 15 seconds later, necks heads into the bathroom. And only 19 seconds later, you can see a school faculty member rush toward the commotion. After that, the students can be seen exiting the bathroom. Back in the hospital room, Sue tells the officer, They killed her in 19 seconds? What'd they do to her? In 19 seconds? The state hit her and she just internally bleeding even right now as she's speaking. In 19 seconds, bro? They didn't hit her on her head. They didn't stomp her out. They didn't do none of that shit in 19 seconds. Three students piled up on Nex during that bathroom fight. And they said that there was three girls Nex. that were on top of her. Just beating the crap out of her. She says the school didn't contact police after the incident. I said, okay, so what are we doing about this? Oh, well, in a couple of days we'll talk about it. I said, no, I want who's, something who's, done. Who's, who said it in a couple of the, days? The principal. Okay. Why are they saying that? I said, I think we need to have a police officer. It's assault. Police audio recordings back this up, capturing the moment Sue contacted law enforcement hoping to press charges. Hi, Melinda. This is Sue Benedict. Uh, my daughter, I've got my daughter, Dagny Benedict, at the hospital. She's a juvenile, and she has been attacked at school. And I need to get someone up here so I can uh, file charges. How many kids attacked her? Another thing, bro. Um, start roughing y'all kids up at home. The bullied, the person that's getting bullied... They ain't got that at home. I tell you all the time, your kids is not your friend and your kids, bro. You want your kids to be better than you. And you know how fucked up this world is for you to not to put them in no kind of combat sports, for you not to rough them up at home, for you not to know you can't eat tonight, make their ass stay outside, like do harsh... I, 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 you got to put your kid through the ringer at home, bro. I promise you. You got to put your kid through the ringer at home. It's, it's, and I'm talking about in all aspects. That develops their toughness. I'm being real. They ain't clean the kitchen up. Wake them, out that sleep, wake them up out their sleep for them to do it. Don't be like, fuck it, I'll do it. You're like, these motherfuckers done went to sleep and whoop whoop whoop. Like, none of that, bro. Sock your kid sometime. Ghost, what you mean? Sock them. Damn, y'all be using belts and all that. The belt ain't going to do nothing. Get them something they can get used to when they go outside because somebody else going to sock them and they're going to cry. And you're going to be mad. Why the fuck is you mad when you never even seen them go through shit? 
He got bullied around the corner in the apartments. You didn't take him outside to go fight the kid that bullied him. You never socked him when he was out of pocket. All you do is yell at him. But then you get mad when he go to school. Somebody socked him one time and you see him on the internet crying. It's the first time he got socked in his life, that's why. It's the first time. I don't want to hear that. He need a man around. Fuck that. No, he don't. No, he don't. Females now, to, you know what, 2024, bitches always, I'm the mama and a daddy. I don't want a daddy not around. Well, do daddy shit then. Because he need to get roughed up. Ask your son right now. He, you know how to fight. They're going to say, yeah, even though you never really seen a fight. Then go like this to him. You're going to be laughing your ass off. I'm not telling y'all. My mama used to sock me in my already like all in the face. I'm not telling y'all to do all that, man. I'm not. I'm just saying, though, like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Be real. And when they cousins come over and you hear them fighting, don't go up there and break it up. Let somebody cry. They still don't break it up. They'll stop crying and start playing again. That builds it. Because they're going to go to school with some kids like mine. <laughs> and I know. Not like my, I would say some kids like my sister Poole. Her kid's bad as fuck, bro. Let her run into my sister, but my nigga, they going to think they ain't a pen. Like, is this an elementary school out of penitentiary? Them niggas is crazy, bro. My nephews is. My nigga, they in sixth grade. Swear to God, my mama. I sw Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Pick up the phone, yeah, yeah. Your call has been forwarded. <laughs> she probably at work. My nephew Wolter in the fifth grade. This nigga. This started some shit called KGC, Knuckle Gang Crip, in the fifth grade, bro, my nephew, right? This nigga done fought and robbed. So, in the fifth grade, he's kicked out the whole county. He got to go to continuation schools until he graduate high school now. Fifth fucking grade, them little niggas was 11 deep, and five of them got kicked out the county. They was going to the junior high school robbing middle school kids, bro. Swear to God on my life on my mama. My 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 little nephews is uh, them niggas is bad. <laughs> them niggas is bad, bro. I swear to God, them niggas is bad as fuck. I was trying to call my sister because my sister, when I call Chanel, y'all be like, no, nah, that was Cap. And I wanted to call my sister so she could tell you about her nephews. You know what I'm saying? Um, three. They jumped her in the bathroom. It was only after Sue's call that law enforcement spoke with Nex at all. And as they told the officer on body camera video, Nex hardly knew the other students. When this first started happening, whatever this is going, this banter back and forth between you and, and the other individuals, did you at any? Nah, I gotta call my. I gotta let you, I gotta let her explain this shit, man. Cause this is wild, bro. <laughs> Tasha. Yeah. Which one of your nephews got kicked off for of starting the gang at school? DeAndre. How old was he? Mm, like, what, six? 
six, seven, something like that. Fifth, but all right, for sure. They didn't believe me, but I'm on live right now. Oh, man, you woke me up by myself thinking something wrong with you. Yeah, that's my bad, my bad. But all right, I'll call you back. All right, love you, buddy. All right, too. Yeah, my nephew Leandre, bro. Well, I said Wooter. That's what we call. We call him Wooter because he would people out. So he's just been calling him Wooter since. That's <laughs> what it. <laughs> I've been saying Wooter, but she just said it, Leandre. But yeah, that nigga's crazy, bro. Point contact any school. That little nigga sick. Whether it be counselor, um, the the teacher that or you know sits in that classroom. Did you let any of them know at any point in time? No. Okay. Uh, and I'm just asking, there's no right or wrong, but why not? Um, I didn't really see the point in it. I, I told my mom, though. Sure, sure. But you didn't tell the school where they could actually do something. At any point during this whole situation, and I use the word, the, the, the word loosely, but the bantering or whatever it is going back. No, nah, it ain't that. I just, me, my brothers, you know what I'm saying? We... We don't do that. The only girls, the only nieces I got is Demia, Destiny, and Chalky, my little baby. Other than that, I got my two boys and nine nephews. All we do is beat their ass and make them box each other, bro. That's all we do, especially when they, when everybody at my house, straight to the garage, boxing session. Be. Y'all ever seen a boxing match? Look up, DJ. Y'all ever seen when I had my sisters getting the boxing gloves and they had to fight on my vlog channel, bro? So my kids, I mean, with the boys in the family, that's, my nigga, this is a cold world. I keep telling y'all that shit. And ain't nobody gonna spare your kids. I don't give a fuck how nice you tell them to be towards people, how nice you tell them to be like, oh yeah, when you say please and thank you and woo 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 man, please and thank you, make your kids look soft. Straight up. Tell my kids, don't respect nobody unless they um, 21 and older, nigga. Ain't nobody tell you to sit here, move out of here, what you looking at, give me this. Don't let nobody touch your pockets, nigga. Don't let nobody stare at you too long, bro. Don't let nobody, none of that shit. My kid, man, what? My nephew, this niggas don't play. Back and forth between you guys. Obviously, you know each other. Obviously, you, you both we got. We don't know each other. Well, you know of each other with the vape situations and all that. Or, or no, we before this we had no recollect. Before this ISP thing, uh huh. We had we never. Hold on, watch this. Oh, oh. My nephew Marlon, I told you about my cousin, I mean, my nephew Wuta. My nephew Marlon, even though Wuta bad, he got the most hands out of all of them, nigga. Him and Stefan the same age. They two days apart. Hello? Gabby. Hello? Gabby. Hello? Hello? Yeah, where you at? Yeah, where you? No, that's my other sister, Gabby. <laughs> my nigga. This weed on here. No, nah, I was about to tell you, you said my whole family sleep. No, nah, she ain't sleep. It's not like she was in traffic. <sighs> Who is that? Yeah, I said it was trash. Never saw each other. The freshmen were sophomore. Okay. okay. We didn't know any. Okay. No, I don't know their names. I don't know. Okay. So so they just up and decided to just start messing with you. There was 
There's... Yeah, because of the way that we dress. Okay, so you didn't do anything at all at any point in time that would have, uh, even a couple days ago or even a month ago or, or anything like that. I don't no, it's because what she okay. represents. As Nex explains, the other girls were picking on them and their friends. In an effort to get the girls to stop, Nex poured water on them, and that only escalated the situation. So, oh. so they just continued to, to, to pick on you and pick on you. Um, then at some point, you did what, what happened? They, they got up and confronted you in class, or? We were. Or did you say it was the bathroom, bathroom. or the hallway? Okay, the bathroom. We were going to stack chairs, and we after we stacked chairs, we mm -hmm. went to the bathroom. Okay. And I was talking with my friends, they were talking with their friends. And we were laughing, and they had said something like, why do they laugh like that? And, and mm -hmm. they were talking about us in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there, and I poured water on them. Okay. And then all three of them came at me. Uh, you know. um, this is a little different, squad. This is a little different. Because if... Somebody pour water on my kid. I would want them to sock them. This is a little different, squad. Look at the mom hairline. That shit is crazy, bro. I'm sorry. I ain't even. I ain't even pay attention to the mom. She been talking a lot. That motherfucker. Hey, can y'all see? Y'all can't see what I see. Y'all can't. <laughs> Hey, next rest in peace to her but at the same time this look like a self defense cause I promise you whether it's me or anybody else I know love or respect if somebody throw water on you don't throw water back you throw these hands nigga I'm being real she did some she did some if you're going to pull a gun, make sure you shoot it type shit. Because she pulled the gun and didn't shoot it, bro. You was so... Spit, water, a pen, bought a piece of paper, nigga, a shoe. At anybody, it's cracking. It's, I'm... This got a little twist to it, squad. This got Not a little twist uh, to it. Pouring the water. Because I'm, I'm trying to get this in my mind so I see it, you know, as best I had I a can. water bottle. Thank you. That's what nah, she did what we see in movies, bro, to where... Oh, you said what? Walk up to the girl like you're about to hit her and just pour water on her like this. Everybody started laughing. Oh, oh, oh. Like, what school does she go? I ain't never seen this in my life unless it's like a dude throwing it on a female at school. If a black, two black females is beefing, one of them ain't just finna walk up on you throwing the water on you. That shit ain't coming. Rest in peace to next. But this was her fault. <clears throat> What's crazy? Even though this was her fault, even though this was her fault, it's no self-defense. There wasn't a deadly weapon, and she was murdered. Therefore, whoever did it going to jail for murder. Which is, which is the crazy part. Was that, where did you Where did you get this water? Was it a cup you found? Was it your water mm, bottle? It's my... Uh, your daily water yeah. bottle you carry around? Okay. I think it was a plastic water bottle. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so you squirted them with water, threw water on, whatever it was. Okay. Um, then at that point, what happened? Uh... They came at me, they grabbed out of my hair, I grabbed onto them, uh, I threw one of them into a paper towel dispenser, and then they got my legs out from under me and got me on the ground, started beating the shit out of me. After the fight, school surveillance video captures Nex walk to the nurse's office before leaving the school with her mom. When Sue again questions why the school never contacted law enforcement, I can understand if somebody was bleeding or got knocked out, they need the paramedics, then the police, but a fight? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
um, figure out because yes, any criminal type action, the school is supposed to give yes. us a call. That's right. Um, so whether they just got, and, and I'm not making excuses for them, but I've seen it happen both ways. Either they maybe they forgot. Maybe there was other things going on. Who knows? Guy named Q. Hey, they, good they looking on that, uh, that donation, bro. Appreciate it. Right I told them so, I wanted something done. Sure, I sure. said, that is assault. She never so, laid her hand. That in just a second. Okay. But as far as the school goes, um, uh, just for what it's worth. Prosecutors going to love what the mom just said. Look. Look what the mom said. Never so, laid her hands. Now, she did put well, water. That was wrong. Well, and I'll explain. Even the mom admitted that she was wrong. They gonna use this part of that video. She did throw water, and that is wrong. I'll explain the, the criminal side of that in just a second. Okay. But as far as the school goes, um, just for what it's worth, just say, I, I will on behalf, I will speak to the school tomorrow. Uh -huh. Not that it's gonna make it any better, but I, I'm also gonna gather all the information I can from all parties, mm -hmm. okay? so. Not only talking to you guys, but I'm yeah. going to go talk to all the other parties tomorrow as well, yes. and and their their um their their guardians as well, and, and all that good stuff. Okay, but yes, to, uh, they're supposed to, mm -hmm. but they're human. I know, but if they're I tell the, them, why right. wouldn't they do it? With that, the officer explains that Sue could press charges, but that Nex technically started the fight. Yeah, he says throwing water on the girls can be constituted as assault. Yes, I can technically do a report for the assault matter. Absolutely. Okay. Um, because it's unwanted touching of one. Basically, she mad. Her daughter got jumped. The daughter was in the feelings. Went to go tell her mom she got jumped. And I don't want to say it. So I'm not going to say it. But all I'm going to say is that they felt like they can call the police and still get over on this shit. She said her daughter told her she threw the water on her first. If you knew you assaulted somebody first, why are you calling the police? They didn't even call the police. She wanted them to go to jail even though her daughter started. I feel bad for next that she passed away. I do. But this whole situation, squad, it was her fault. You know what I'm saying? It sounded like they was in the bathroom. Next said she was with her friends. The girls came in the bathroom, her and her friends was laughing. The girls was like, why you laughing like that? She probably like, bitch, why y'all talking to me? Like, whoop dee whoop whoop. She ain't gonna say exactly what she said. You always gotta hear two parts of the story, not one. And the person that's complaining, you, you gotta take that with a grain of salt. So, old girl didn't like it. She went over there, poured the water on them. She said the girls walked over to her. She threw one of their heads in the paper towel dispenser. That's when they threw her on the ground and beat her up for 19 seconds. Well, not even 19 seconds. They said it lasted 19 seconds. But she was only on the ground for like, what, eight or nine seconds? They said the whole altercation was 19 seconds. So, I mean, rest in peace to her, but this was her fault. She couldn't take the jokes. Individual to another. They put their hands on you Okay, and it was unwanted. I will also tell you though that I was saying what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Meaning, you did it. The way you uh, the the courts are going to look at it is it's it's a mutual fight. Okay, so both parties are victims, but both parties are also suspects in this. You get what I'm saying? You're yeah. offender as well. So I will absolutely do a report if that's yes. what you want. I can do. Okay, but I'm just letting you know. She ain't even looking at her daughter can get in trouble. She's. She want to get them other females so bad. The mom like, yes, I want it. So you want them to file charges on your daughter. He just said that he's going to file charges on your daughter. Are you sure this is what you want? She said, yes, as long as they get in trouble too, my daughter can get in trouble as well. What the fuck? What is this mama on, bro? What was this mama on? Let me make sure I'm hearing this right. Our victims, but both parties are also suspects in this you get what i'm saying you're yeah. offender as well so i will absolutely do a report if that's yes, what you want i can do okay but i'm just letting you know <laughs> Mama's the other party wants to do the same thing she's going to be uh, the assault will be on her as well um because she first assaulted she was the one who initiated an officer trying to explain like bitch are you hearing what i'm saying that's why he keep on rewording it different ways 
He keep rewording to try to let her know. He let her know it again. Like, look, your daughter assaulted. He can't tell her, like, you stupid. Why are you following? He can't do that. He can't. He trying to explain to her many different ways. Look. You get what I'm saying? You're a yeah. as well. So I will absolutely do a report. If that's yes. what you want, I can do. Okay, but I'm just letting you know. Now here comes the second part. If the other party wants to do the same thing, she's going to be, uh, the assault will be on her as well. Um, because she first assaulted, she was the one who initiated it essentially because you got freedom of speech. You can do all this all day long. Mm -hmm. The other defended themselves, quote unquote. You retaliated back. Now we've got this back and forth when both parties had uh, equal opportunity to So that's where I'm saying it's it's not going to be in the best of light for you. But I can absolutely do that if that's what you like. I'm just telling you it's, it may not go the direction you want it to go. I am not the judge. I'm not the jury. I'm here to just say this is the facts. This is what's presented. She's a true victim of assault and battery. Mm -hmm. She did nothing. But the fact that she... Re through that water, uh -huh. it kind of, it kind of, yeah. kind of puts her. Even not though she didn't put hands on them, it's still assault and battery. It's a, let's break it down piece by piece, element by element. Who actually started the situation? Right in the mouth is freedom of speech. Yes. Unfortunately, you can say mean, hurtful things all day long. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with the moms, bro? What's wrong with the moms, bro? It's like, why you got to explain to her? You are too old for this shit, maybe? That you can't comprehend that he's saying. Your daughter is going to get an assault charge if y'all go through with the uh, with the case. If you want to, are you sure you want to do this? And she's still, yeah. Like, I... And you got to let it roll off your shoulder. The moment someone retaliates or does something physically mm -hmm. or a directive threat yeah. verbally, now you have something. Throwing okay. that water on there, just because there's water doesn't make it any better. It could have been urine. It could have been paint. It could uh -huh. have been anything. The officer says all the students involved will be disciplined, but also that they're all at fault. What about, because there was three of them. And she only threw water on the one. Doesn't matter. I mean, it matters for the school. The school's going to, to everyone's going to be disciplined. That everybody that went in there, everyone that was in her, her group, everyone. Everybody can say they got water put up on it. Like, I, why is she still trying to justify this shit? If you still file charges after he just gave you this whole rundown, the mom is an L. And this is what I was telling y'all. You got to be a parent or you want to be your kid's friend. Her and her mom talk about it. She, she's her kid's friend, bro. She came up in there. If y'all rewind it to the beginning, right? She came up in there and said, her daughter said, Mom, these MFs just jumped me. He was like, she said it just like that. I don't care what happened or how mad my kid get. If you explain something to me with an MF and I'm socking in your chest, bro. She her kid friend, ain't my kid finna cussing my kid? What the fuck? I don't care if somebody just shot at you. These motherfuckers just pulled a drive. These mother what? Nigga, we'll get to the drive-by later. What, nigga? You too. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Buddy, that was in the other group. Mm -mm. It doesn't matter if there's three of them fighting. They're all gonna be disciplined in the school. From a criminal side of things, it doesn't make it okay. You had the girl on the, on the bed, matter. she ended up passing away. What matters is who started it uh -huh. and how, what, where's where, how bad of a situation like was there weapons involved, was there not, things like that. Okay, yeah. but but the biggest part is the fact that it's a mutual fight, so they all are victims, but they're uh -huh. all suspects. But she's in a little bit more of a situation because she's the one who started it by throwing a object or an item onto another. Yeah. Stop explaining this to her, bro. Just As the conversation nears a close, the officer explains what Sue can do if she ultimately decides to press charges. And oh, this is my sister, watch this. Gabby. Can you hear me? Yeah, where your son at? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> Marley, Marley. <laughs> He what? Yeah, Mark, and 
Smith. Oh, all right. Call me when you get there. Huh? Call me when you get there. I'll call you later. That's too late. That was my sister. They was talking about my nephew and shit. I was going to put him. <laughs> Never mind. It's too late. And if you decide to change your mind, I mean, I, tomorrow morning when I call you, mid-morning, you know, before noon, um, if you say, hey, look, I slept on it. I really feel like I want to go ahead and pursue Absolutely, Mom. Okay. Then, then you can come up to – I can actually – I can send you an email with a digital – um, so you don't have a, a, a hard copy here. Uh-huh. I'll send you a digital print of our witness statement. Okay. What's you up? Fill that out on her behalf uh-huh. of what she told you. Then oh, yeah, I'm doing something right now. I'm going to call you back. Suspended following the attack. Are you going to school tomorrow? Or? No. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're going to keep you They at suspended home. her. Okay. Before the officer leaves, Nex says they're in pain. What if your smile could go from looking like this? These niggas got to ad this. dollars, bro. They've been Would on here for months confident? with this ugly Would you laugh? She's hurting right now. <laughs> That's bad. Well, I mean, it always hurts when you get in a fight. <laughs> Whether you're the winner or the loser. Yeah. <laughs> it stresses the body out and it's really not worth it. As he exits, the officer says he hopes to see Nex around again soon. Good luck to you. Yeah. I'll see you around. Hopefully not. Well, no, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. She said that. Well, not in a bad way. I mean, <laughs> in a good way. Hopefully, I see you around school and class and wander in the halls and all that good stuff. Yes, you can you smile go. and wave and say, hey, Thompson, and you know, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> But that would never happen. The next day, Nex's mom called 911, reporting a medical emergency. And I need to get someone an ambulance here quick, please. Okay, what's My daughter, on? I don't know what's going around wrong. She's posturing. And her hands How are old in, is and she, she she is sixteen. Okay. She fell at school, or that she got beat up at school yesterday. I took her to the hospital last night, and uh, Officer Thompson was there. I need someone to get a hold of her to get here quick. Um, okay. She's not doing good at all. I need someone here now. On the recording, Sue explains that Nex has shallow breathing, and their eyes keep rolling back. Okay, listen, I have I have medics on the way. Um, I uh-huh. want to know how her breathing is. She's breathing in, but then she, her eyes are, they open. I like, get these motherfuckers like a, over here now. Uh, uh, you know, like a really quick, and her hands are posturing already. They're they're rolling in, like, like I don't know if it's from her. Is it me that when I call an ambulance, I make it seem worse than what it is? You get them over here fast. Her eye just fell out. Yeah, y'all come, bro. They get here. Her breathing just irregular. <laughs> she got too happy at the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, bro, the, the mom sound too calm to see your daughter eyes rolling in the back of her damn head, bro. You better be screaming on that mother. Her what? Head injury because the girls that beat her up knocked her to the ground and she hit, and they were they she hit her head on the bathroom floor and um, when the, when I got there. The school was like, I, I think you might need to take her to the hospital. And I'm like, okay. And she kept saying she had a headache. Has she ever had any kind of like seizure or anything before? No, no, she hasn't. Mm. Okay. Is she? Can she still like look at you? <laughs> why? Yeah. Why? 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 H M official. I love you, bro. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I love you. And I don't even know if I'm gonna put this out there. You know what I'm saying on a regular video. Because that'd be some fucked up shit to say. But what you just said, my nigga, is what I was thinking for some goddamn reason, bro. Twitch, I'm sorry. That nigga commented on YouTube and I'm not finna repeat it. My nigga, that's the same shit I was thinking. I was thinking. But then I'm like, nah, she ain't finna. I'm not finna put that on them. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I'm not finna do it, bro. Woo. Woo. You? Like if you're- no, her eyes, are, her eyes are rolled up. Her eyes are rolled up and kind of... Gosh, I hope this ain't from her head. They're supposed to have checked her out good. Next was pronounced dead on February 8th, just one day after the fight at school. Damn. In a statement, Owasso Public Schools says it has cooperated fully with the investigation. Michelle. As part of district <laughs> protocol, parents and guardians of those involved in the fights were notified and, quote, should they choose to file a police report, school resource officers are made available to the parents slash guardians either at that time or they can schedule an appointment if they choose at a later date. 
The district also notes that federal privacy laws mean they can't disclose what disciplinary actions were taken, but that, quote, any notion that the district has ignored. She threw the water on the girls first. The girls beat her up. She ended up dead. Should the girls go to jail for the murder? Should they go to jail for the murder? I'm asking y'all. I'm asking y'all. Put yourself in both positions, for real. Put yourself in both positions before y'all answer that. You the girl's parents, you gonna wanna say yeah. But now, if it's your kid, somebody threw water in your kid's face, your kid beat them up and they end up dying. Think about it. Hell no, they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have, my opinion. If they would have slapped her and she died, should they still go to jail? She assaulted them first. I feel bad for what happened to her. I really do. I really do. But, I mean, whether you throw a rock, sock somebody, or throw water, water on them, you can't expect nothing not to happen to you, bro. That's assault. That's disrespectful. They probably had on a new shirt, new in they sixteen year old girls at this like. I mean Probation. How are they sixteen? Probation till they twenty one. Get the furthest I push for this shit. No jail time though. Not because they they defended themselves. Not because they defended themselves why they didn't get probation. It's because somebody ended up dying. You know what I'm saying? Even though y'all caused it, it wasn't y'all fault. Look at it at the family end. You mean to tell me nothing's going to happen with my daughter being gone? And even though probation, five years ain't shit, it's, you know. But nah, them girls shouldn't lose their life over this shit. They should, well, spend the rest of their life in prison over this at 16. <clears throat> he said, yeah, that's what happened. The girl on the bed, on the hospital bed, she was the one that, um, she was the one that threw water on the girl. She was with her friends in the bathroom. She was with four girls in the bathroom. And three other girls walked in. The girls that walked in said, y'all laugh funny. And so the girl in the hospital bed was like, oh yeah, threw the water on her, boom. They threw the water on her, the girls rushed her. She explained on the bed that she grabbed one of the girls by the hair, put one of her heads in a paper towel dispenser, and that's when she ended up falling and the girls hit her a few times when she fell. So, I mean, oh, 